the streets, residential areas and roads of Chennai are flooded repeatedly even for moderate rainfall. In November this year, the city witnessed severe water inundation thrice during the northeast monsoon. The stagnation continued for days even after the rain stopped. The inundation sparked off a debate on who is responsible for the current situation as well. A news click spoke to former professor of Madras Institute of Development Studies, S. Janagarajan, regarding this. You see, um, the floods in Chennai, you know, the um, for the past uh, 15 years and 20 years we have been experiencing, and we have been getting this flood once in five years, once in six years, and uh, and these these are becoming a sort of a, a you know a repeated phenomenon in Chennai, and uh, and also it's it's, it's happening in many other parts of the country and in many other parts of uh, uh, the state. Now, actually speaking, I would not call it a flood. This is not a flood, actually. Because, you know, what you see today in 2021 in Chennai is more uh, uh, more uh, kind of, a, uh, you know, the water inundation, and that is also more localized. So wherever you see a low-lying area, you find uh, this kind of water inundation. And there are lots of issues and problems uh, which are uh, and factors which which can be you know attributed to this kind of water inundation so basically i would not call it a flood this is not a flood i mean this kind of a rainfall i mean is this a manageable rainfall something like a 200 250 millimeters of rainfall in 24 hours is manageable if your drainage system is in good order but uh, but it only reflects that our drainage system and whatever uh, you know macro drains that you have river system that you have and the stormwater drains that you have, if they are in good shape, I think this, I mean, this sort of, uh, you know, the rainfall should have been taken care of. But it only means that our uh, drainage system is in a very, very bad shape, pathetic condition. It is one of the main reasons why, you know, uh, city today is experiencing this kind of, uh, you know, uh, water inundation. And people are in, uh, in, 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 in total, uh, uh, I mean, misery. Particularly, in if, you, if you go to the North Madras, if you look at in particular the popular people live, who live in slums, they are in an extremely pathetic condition, in a very, very bad shape, and they are not able to come out of their homes, their streets are flooded, and not able to commute and uh, can't even, you know, uh, uh, hop onto the transport and look for a transport or hop onto the bus. I mean, many issues and concerns. And, and I, I think, I think this, is, this is going to become worse in the days to come. Mainly because the population density in these in the in the city, Chennai city, is increasing year by year. If you look at the data, you know, for the past 15, 20 years, you will see how, how rapidly the population density in Chennai has gone up. For instance, in 2011, as per the 2011 census, 26,000 people lived in Chennai per square kilometer. Now we are in 2021. In the last 10 years, I'm sure the population density would have gone up tremendously. It may be now something like a 33,000 or 34,000 per square kilometer, which only means that the urban space, the available urban space is shrunk tremendously, which means there are more people living in, 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 in the same area and density is gone up, which means the urban space spaces come down. That is really going, that is really resulting in lack of space, lack of uh, uh, drainage space for draining water. It, it also means that the per capita drainage space in the Chennai city is coming down rapidly. You have to have certain, you know, uh, certain, uh, you know, uh, level of a drainage space in any city. If there is no space for drainage of water, naturally the water will get inundated because you got you got homes, you got uh, uh, you know uh, compound walls, you 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 are you are, uh, you are obstructed all waterways and water flows and streams. Naturally, you know, it gets obstructed, and you will see all the major drains in the city. Have been, have, have been obstructed, disconnected, and are, are, you know, are in a pathetic condition, are flog, clogged heavily, so water doesn't flow. This is the case of all these. There are 16 major drains in the city. All these 16 major drains and something like 30 to 35 micro drains, all of them are in a bad shape or disconnected completely, and water doesn't flow. That's the reason. This is more sort of, uh, um, you know, uh, unscientific, land use policy, unscientific urban land use policy, unscientific urban expansion policy, unscientific urban development policy, unscientific or unregulated urban development policy. I mean, I mean, you have to be more scientific. See, for instance, when you expand the city, 
you know it used to be something like 174 square kilometers that was chennai city today today it is 426 square kilometers and it is going to go up in the years to come and again chennai metropolitan area today is 1190 square kilometers it is going to be extended to 8800 square kilometers so when you expand the city or when you expand the metropolitan area you have to adopt certain standards the issue is one of what are the principles of your uh, master plans what what are the bottom line principles that you are adopting for uh, uh, you know uh, 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 urban expansion or the or the uh, city development so th this is unclear to me all that you are now interested in is build up your residential area build up your market commercial area build up your industrial area acquire land for uh, construction of roads and for transportation and acquire land for uh, you know uh, the uh, the institutions for building uh, government buildings and so on and so forth but have you ever thought of uh, uh, acquiring land or uh, reserving land for ecosystem use for and for protecting our environment that is that, that is something uh, uh, unnatural i mean uh, unfortunate that we did not do only if you if you follow this principle of yes you also need land for ecosystem needs that you also need land for environmental uh, protecting environmental conditions and and for environmental needs and and you also have to have a policy of protecting for instance you know the water bodies and if you don't have that and uh, unfortunately in the absence of all these you are going to suffer that's what exactly has happened in the past uh, several decades now at least now i am asking you uh, asking the question have you learned any lesson from the past mistakes past blunders of master plan 1 and master plan 2 master plan 2 is going to end up in the 2024 but what have we done so far what are the blunders that we committed have you learned any lesson so that you can correct yourself in uh, in the master plan 3 so this is very fundamental if you do not really look back if you don't have a rethink on your master plans and land use policy you are you are bound to suffer people are people will definitely get into difficulties people will definitely suffer in the city of chennai